Hey, I'm Randy with BBQ Guys. Today we're going to be checking out Traeger's Ironwood series. This thing can smoke, grill, bake, and it's packed with some pretty cool features. Let's check it out. Traeger's Ironwood series is fueled by wood pellets that are held in this 20 pound pellet hopper. These hardwood pellets are available in a range of popular wood flavors to pair with whatever you choose to cook. When it's time to grill, just power up the D2 controller and dial in your temperature anywhere between 165 and 500 degrees. Once set, the auger will transport the amount of pellets needed to reach and maintain your target temp. For more reliability, the Ironwood series uses an industry-first brushless motor to power their variable speed fan and auger. Once the pellets reach the fire pot, the hot rod ignites them, and the variable speed fan stokes the fire, helping you to reach your desired temperature quickly and precisely maintain it. Traeger's D2 system makes it easy to grill, bake, or smoke with wood-fired flavor. The Ironwood series even adds the convenience of Wi-Fi technology. The Traeger app allows you to use your phone to monitor and control your Ironwood grill. When I was getting ready to smoke a brisket, I was able to monitor the preheat from my phone while getting it prepped. This was a 17-pound brisket, so I opted to let it smoke overnight at the office. I used the included temp probe so I could keep an eye on the progress and headed home to let it cruise. It was a huge relief to not have to worry about maintaining the temperature I wanted throughout the night. The Ironwood is not a grill you will have to babysit. The next morning, it was still going strong and had some good color. After letting it rest, the results were impressive. It turned out really tender and juicy. For times when you want guidance throughout the whole cooking process, the Traeger app even has a collection of recipes to choose from. These recipes are fully compatible with the Ironwood. Simply press Cook Now and the app will send the target temps and timer settings for great results on whatever you choose. When it comes to extra smoke flavor, Traeger's Ironwood series has a super smoke mode which utilizes its variable speed fan to get the maximum amount of smoke between 165 and 225 degree settings. These ribs got some great wood-fired flavor using this mode. For maximum smoke circulation, the Ironwood series features Traeger's innovative downdraft exhaust system. This forces the smoke to exit through these ports at the back of the grill, right near cooking surface level. This design causes the fan-forced smoke and heat to create a vortex around your food before exiting the grill. I found this made a notable difference in the amount of flavor you get. The Ironwood series even has a keep warm setting, so your food can be ready whenever you are. For cooking surface versatility, the inside of the Ironwood series has a two-tier grate design. To give you an idea of what you can fit on the Ironwood 885, here's what it looks like loaded with a bit of everything. The top rack works well for low and slow smokes like this brisket because you have plenty of room to put a water pan on the lower rack to add moisture during the cook. For times when you don't need it, the top rack can be removed. The larger bottom grate can either be used in the lower position for grilling or set it a step higher for more delicate items. Underneath the cooking grids, you'll find Traeger's grease drip tray. This provides plenty of surface for drippings to vaporize off of, adding to the smoky flavor you get when grilling. The grease drip tray also provides a layer of heat diffusion from the fire pot in the belly of the grill. These burgers cooked really even across the grates, and there is never a need to worry about runaway flames burning your food. The grease tray slants to the left side, causing excess drippings to drain into this bucket on the left side of the grill for easy cleaning. Underneath the grease tray on the ironwood, you'll find Traeger's heat baffle. This adds another layer of heat diffusion above the fire pot. This baffle can be removed for cleaning when needed. The fire pot sits in the belly of the grill, and this is where your pellet fuel ignites and burns. For added heat retention, the belly and side walls of the ironwood are double lined. This allowed me to smoke the brisket overnight and still have pellets left over in the morning. The lid also has a gasket to add further insulation. 
and the included temperature probe can be run through this port on the side of the grill so that the wire doesn't keep the lid from closing all the way. For times when you want to change out the pellet flavor you're cooking with, the back of the hopper has a pellet clean-out door. The left side of the Traeger Ironwood has a stainless steel side shelf with tool hooks for keeping everything close at hand. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions about Traeger grills, give us a call or visit us online. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. And remember, at BBQGuys.com, we smoke the competition.